This is the Zoom Q8n and there's one thing about this that I really don't like and that is the white balance. The Zoom Q8n is a completely automatic camera as far as the picture goes. So you can't control shutter, you can't control aperture, and you can't control the ISO or white balance. So what you get is what you get. To overcome this, there are only two things really that you can do. Adjust by eye in post, but that's not an easy thing to do because if your monitor doesn't exactly match what you're looking at the picture on, you're gonna be in trouble. If you have a posh piece of software, that gives you a bit more of an idea when you're using all the graphs and things to adjust color. But if you're doing it by eye, that can be really dodgy. Use a white card. I'm now using the Zoom Q8n 4K. And I've got to say, first of all, the great thing about this camera is I can get a really good microphone and plug it straight into the camera. And there's no fooling about later in post. All I've got to do is turn the volume up or down or whatever I need to do. And that's it. The worst part of this camera is the white balance and all the manual settings that you might want if you're a videographer. Most cheaper softwares have this little white WB white balance little dipper and you click on it and then you find something white in the picture and then it adjusts everything according to what you've clicked on and gets that white balance correct. So the best way to do this is to hold up a gray, black and a white card. This gives you a little bit of contrast to look at. The gray might show you some color cast a bit more easily than the white, but the white gives you a reference to go on. So you click on the little dipper and then click on this on the picture in your software. And hopefully your white balance will go to a more normal kind of white balance. So I'm going to now hold this up and color correct my white balance to what this card tells me. Looking at this picture, it probably looks okay as it is now. But if I now do the color correction here, look at the wall behind me, because this is always the giveaway for color correction for me. When I come in this room, if I use auto white balance on a camera, it sees the wall behind me and it sees it as a white wall. And what happens is it changes the color balance just very slightly. It adds a little bit of blue, actually. If I now take the color correction off, the wall's gone to white. And if I put the color correction on, the wall's gone yellow. Please remember that this isn't just applicable to the Q8n, but is actually good practice with most cameras. That is, if you have the time to do it. I hope to see you next time. Cheers for now. Thank you.